What's popping, y'all? It's your girl, Team Stacy, and I'm back. Maybe I said I'm back with another YouTube video. And if you're new to my channel, hello. And if you're a returning subscriber, what's up? Alrighty, guys. So in today's video, we are doing a soft glam, very, very easy, and very, very quick. Okay, this was not hard at all. And I found like a new technique on how I do my makeup to make it go faster. I've been testing it out on my clients, and when I say I cut down my time, I feel like I not off like 15 to 30 minutes that was that I used to take to do my makeup but yeah so if you are interested in seeing how we achieve this baddie you know what I'm saying social media influencer soft life I don't know I just want the girls to be looking like this but if you want to see how to achieve this makeup look definitely definitely keep on watching alrighty guys so let's go ahead and jump right into it so first things first I'm taking my Noxzema wipes and I'm just going to smooth off my skin make sure it's nice and cleaned off all my OG subscribers know that about me. But then after that, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Holy Hydration Moisturizer because we want to have our skin nice and moisturized under this makeup. This is my Holy Grail Primer. I'm obsessed with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. It is literally fire, girl. Like, go run. Don't walk and get your hands on this damn product. Next up, I'm gonna take my NARS Long Radiant Wear Foundation and I'm doing four pumps and we are just gonna spread that evenly across my skin with my Paw Paw Beauty Blender that I got from Amazon. Yes, so usually I do my eyes first, but today I wanted to do my face first because I've been trying it out and guys, this has been cutting down my time. I don't know what it is about doing your face first, but it's just been helping me so freaking much. Also, if you guys hear some background noise, I'm outside right now. I'm recording my voiceover in my car, so yeah, sorry about that. Okay guys, next up, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Camel Concealer, and this is the mattifying one. I did go ahead and try this mattifying concealer from um, TikTok. They told me, you know, it's a dupe for the Tarte, and I really do like it. You guys know I'm obsessed with the hydrating one, but the mattifying, I've been grabbing it a little bit more lately, giving it a test, and it just gives me a nice full color coverage glam and I just love that so we're just putting this all under my t-zone and I like to put under my nose because I get redness there but then I'm gonna go back in with my paw paw blender and I'm just going to blend her out one thing you have to know with this concealer is do not let her dry down you have to blend immediately When I go to blend under my eyes, as you guys see, I like to blend out the edges first and then I'll go in and blend closer to under my eye. And with this technique, it just helps with a nice full coverage glam and it just kind of let, lets the concealer just like flawlessly blend into the foundation without like any like issues. Next up, I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier's translucent setting powder and I'm just gonna put that directly under my eye so we can get a nice set under eye. Then I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Honey. This is in shade Honey. This is their setting powder. And then I'm just gonna set the remainder of my face and bake. So when you work with your face first, I've noticed that it's better to bake. The reason why is because once you go into the eyes, in case you have any fallout, when you're dusting off the excess powder, you can just dust out the fallout. So that is the little tip that I have there too. When you do your face first, I don't know why, it just goes faster, but then, when you bake, it helps with any fallout. And then here, I just use the same concealer to just prep, prep my eyebrows, my eyebrows, to prep my eyes um, so I can have a smooth base. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take my Morphe Glamour Bronze, and this is in shade Phenon, and I'm just putting this as my transition shade in my crease, okay? So I'm blending it out, and as you guys see, I'm going all the way to the front and just working this into my nose contour as well.
And then I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my Juvia's Place palette, which every product that I'm using will be linked down below in the description box. But I'm just gonna bounce between those two shades and then just deepen up my crease because we really wanna add some definition to the eyes. I mean, you can go in with one shade, but I'm an extra girl, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more, you know, definition to my eyes. Then I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette and I'm just gonna take this gold shade and I'm gonna put that all over my lid you can use whatever gold shade you have I also have a Juvia's Place palette that has some really nice gold shimmery shades use whatever product you have okay after I put that on my lid I'm gonna take just this fluffy brush and just kind of just kind of buff in the shade so it's like not as messy I don't know hopefully that made sense but you guys kind of saw what I did there then I'm just going to do a cat eye I'm not going to wing it out too much and go too dramatic I really wanted to keep it soft and you know you can see the cat eye but it's just not OD Alright guys, so after that I'm going to go back in with Phenon, which is from Morphe's Glamour Bronze, and I'm just going to bronze my face. So I'm going right in between the, um, the like areas where I put the setting powder, and we are just going to bronze my cheek back up. And then next up, we're going to dust away the excess setting powder with my face powder that's from MAC. And I just like to do this. I feel like this is what's going to give me a nice mattifying look. This helps with the makeup lasting all day. So you want to grab any foundation like pressed powder and just use that to dust away your, your excess setting powder. And I promise you, you will see a major difference in your makeup. This is a key tip that has changed my makeup game, literally. So here I'm just warming up my nose and adding a little bit more definition not necessarily contouring but I'm just bronzing up my nose because it's looking a little flat next up I'm gonna take my Ruby Kisses blush palette and this is in um, I think very berry and I'm just taking that pinky shade and we're just putting that right on my cheeks just to add some color back into the skin and then I'm gonna take my elf um, mascara and I'm just going to get these lashes popping okay especially my bottom lashes you really want some nice bottom lashes if you don't have bottom lashes which is normal a lot of people don't really have long bottom lashes I have a tutorial on my channel that you can check out and that's how you can put false bottom lashes on I will link that down below in my description box and just also just check out my, my channel you'll see it there um, but here I'm just taking my holy grail brown lip liner also check out my um, my holy grail video I kind of show all the products that I use but I'm just gonna go ahead and take this lip liner and line the these juicy lips then I'm gonna take fortune cookie by NYX and then we are just going to you know make this lip nice and popping Then I'm going to take my Batty Gloss from Sine Cosmetics. Like I said, everything will be linked down below in the description box. But I'm going to take my Batty Gloss and just put that and make my lips nice and shiny. And lastly, we're just going to take the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This is the original version. And yeah. Alrighty guys, so that is the end of today's video. In today's video, I did want to show you guys the quickest and easiest way to get the, you know, influencer kind of you know I got money I got a Chanel bag you know what I'm saying <laughs> but like if you wanted to give that look I feel like this makeup look just really does it and it was so easy to achieve you guys saw it was barely any eyeshadows it is just like such a clean soft look um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you made it this far go ahead and comment this down below right here that's how I know you are a true OG you gonna watch my videos all all the way through and you really gang you real team Stacy. you you a real teammate period but yeah if you watch it all the way this far go ahead and comment that that emoji down below so i know um if you haven't already go ahead and join the family and just do it like nike by subscribing to our channel last but not least turn my post notifications on so you'll be notified every time i drop a video and give this video a big thumbs up girl because you can always come back to this video this video this is its home right now you can always come back to this video so whenever you're going out or whenever you're just ready to practice your makeup you can come back to it and just slay every time i love you guys so freaking much and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye guys